In this video, I review the Peatnik Rewards app from Pete's Coffee. Now let's walk through the app and talk about what's working in the design and what can be improved. So when you first get into the app, this is the dashboard. There's a little greeting at the top that says hello. You see how many points you have, a progress bar towards your next reward, and the option to either check in or Pete's card, which I think might be a little confusing for someone they might be like, hmm, what's a Pete's card? Maybe instead of Pete's card, it could say reload or add something about adding money. So right now, this app really, it's a little bit limited in that there's only one goal, and that's to check in so that you can earn points towards a reward. That and you can also add your payment information. So let's go through the process. When you're at a register, you'll want to click on check in. You'll see a QR code and that's what the barista will scan at the register. And once you do, another coffee cup will fill up to show you your progress. And it looks like each one of these has a different design. So that's a fun design element and I'll show you what happens for Pete's card. So this, similar to the Starbucks coffee app, it looks like you can upload a gift card or credit card or reload with your credit card. But what I love about the Pete's app versus the Starbucks app is this little note on the bottom that says, no worries, you can also pay with cash or credit debit card. So I love that you can use this app purely to check in to get those rewards instead of having to reload your card in order to use it to get those points, which is what Starbucks does. Personally, it's just a pet peeve of mine because that means that you constantly have to reload the app and have money on, on it versus just paying for a coffee as you go. So I think that's something that this app does very well. You'll get a lot more people to use it in that sense, which is always your goal with a new app. You want people to use it and then make improvements along the way. So let's see what else we got this little envelope and this is where if there was some kind of alert on your phone notifying you about a special offer at a local coffee shop it would populate here in this uh, message area and in case you are looking for a Pete's coffee you would click on this this icon for a map and it'll just kind of show you your closest Pete's coffees. The three dots takes us to some legal information. Profile, you can change your password, your payment method, account history. So this is where each of your check-ins would populate. Um, it'll show you also when you use your rewards, so that's helpful if you wanted to basically have a receipt of your past purchases. Let's see the information. If you needed information about how to use the app, it tells you how to check in, earn and receive and pay. So that's helpful if someone's new and they, they're not sure what the app is for. So as I mentioned before, there's not much we can do with the app yet. I see a lot of potential for this app. Probably some improvements that are coming down the line are like mobile ordering so that you can order ahead. You know, you could be at home, order your coffee and then have it waiting for you when you get there. Uh, something else that would be helpful is to add the menu right in the app. So you could see all the different espresso drinks, special seasonal drinks um, with beautiful photography of the coffee. I think that would be a great addition. And a couple of other improvements I'd like to see to the app are more interaction, just making this an interactive experience and also the hierarchy of this dashboard is a little off you know there's so much to look at I don't know what to look at first and so what I'd like to see is maybe another loading screen that says hi Monica how's the coffee today or some kind of catchy copywriting instead of displaying your name the entire time because I know who I am <laughs> so um, you know, make that like part of the loading screen and, and then it disappears. And then having the coffee illustration really large along with a different way to express the progress bar. Maybe it's dots um, or maybe it's a percentage of filling up the cup. Something that's a little bit more impactful. And just because 
we're so used to swiping nowadays, I feel like instead of clicking on the arrow button to view how many points and then clicking the back button to go back, it would just be easier if there was a swipe motion instead. And also making the check-in as easy as a swipe. Since that's the main goal of this app right now is to check in, I'd like to see a way to just, you know, swipe up and then the QR code will show then. Um, and then maybe the Pete's card, you know, the reloading can be another icon on the bottom menu instead. And also after you check in, uh, maybe there's some more interactivity, you know, like you're filling up, like one of these coffee cups fills up or it shakes or it goes from tiny to large or there's scale or something that makes it kind of fun and delights the customer. Because uh, right now it's basically just a static image. But overall, I love that Pete's is finally getting into the app world. There's definitely a lot of potential in what and how this will evolve, and I'm sure that's coming down the line. And now I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the new Pete's Coffee app. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How has your experience been with it so far? Let me know by leaving a comment below.